welcome again everybody this is precision tv in our show precision lifetime uh, today we have a guest but i'm not going to introduce him he will introduce himself but let us know what do you think we have a guest over here how you doing man i'm good 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 to see you <laughs> uh, uh it's nice to see you here in our studio especially in my show precision lifetime can you introduce yourself and tell uh, tell everybody uh, who you are, <laughs> what do you do? Precision, precision Television. Uh huh. Precision Television. My name is Ethan Wheeler. I'm a student at University of Texas. I work valet and I like to run a lot. Wow, wow, wow. How, how long have you been here in Austin? About four years now, actually. Four years? Yeah. Okay, where, where, where did you born? Like, where have you been before being here in Austin? I was born in Boulder, Colorado, and I lived in Fort Worth, Texas for 10 years, actually. 10 years? <laughs> that, that's where your parents are, or you just... Yeah, my parents live there. In Fort Worth? <coughs> Fort Worth, yeah. Okay, in okay. Dallas area. Yeah. Thank you so much. So, for the followers, welcome again. Uh, the guest is here. Uh, you may uh, ask him anything you will like about Austin. He knows pretty much about Austin, Texas. Can you tell us about a little bit about Texas? Uh, I mean, Austin, uh, uh, in four years you've been here. Well, Austin has a very warm climate, which is one of the main reasons I like to live here. Oh, really? It's a dry, dry warm climate, lots of sun. They have, a, they have a very intricate park system too, which is, which is great for running and bicycling and stuff. Okay. They have a good school, University of Texas, which, which is what I attend. Mm -hmm. And there are lots of jobs too. I actually... <clears throat> so Austin actually has one of the fastest growing... Po maybe the fastest growing population in the country for major okay. cities. Austin gains like 50,000 residents each each year, oh, for which is really? actually a lot. That's a lot. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Oh, how about like oh, the immigration? You are talking about <clears throat> a growing in a population of Austin. So like, what oh, what what is the estimation like every year? For immigration? Mm -hmm. Well, I I, uh, I think immigration is a good thing, mainly because. It, uh, it provides opportunities for people, for humans to to uh, come to a better place. Because uh, that's right. I get I, the U.S. is the best country in the world, probably. That's right. And uh, so people who do not live in the U.S. have an opportunity to come to the U.S. Okay. And it also provides uh, more economic opportunity for the employers. Okay, thank they have more you people so to hire. Much. That's that's good good stuff to know. Uh, I <laughs> guess people didn't know that, but uh, uh, they may know Austin as a city, as a capital city of Texas, but they didn't know much uh, better of what you're coming to say. But I have one question for you. Uh, what what is a six street? I hear people a lot of people talk about six street. Six street. What, what what's going on over there? <laughs> what does people over there? Uh, I just want you to. So what is six street people, like? Yeah yeah. What do you do? What what it looks like? Well, I think I probably know too much about a, about six street. Oh, that's good. <laughs> so, tell me uh, about six street uh, in Austin, Texas, especially right there in downtown, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let, let's tell uh, our followers, our people so six about street six street. It's probably the most popular bar scene mm -hmm. in the South, like anywhere in the South. Like Texas has the most popular bar scene in the South, probably. There are other major cities in the south, but there's like Atlanta, Baton Rouge, New Orleans. Mm -hmm. Austin has the most popular bar scene in the south. That's right. And, uh, and uh, maybe 15 blocks away, there is a major university that houses 50,000 students, which is a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that's a lot. students like to drink. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, uh, <laughs> that is I, true. They like, to, they like to drink. I, I've been seeing a lot of people oh, yeah. drinking, uh, but uh, I guess uh, there, there are not a lot of students drinking on Sixth Street, right? There's a lot of student drinking on Sixth Street. Really? <laughs> <laughs> not just drinking. I, I uh, 
just having yes. fun. Yes, you don't like to drink and dance and party and do cocaine and oh, really? take some okay. other drugs. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, that's good stuff to know also, but ju I just want to let people know that uh, welcome again to our show. Uh, the next question will be like, uh, what do you think like uh, the future of our city, like uh, the city of Austin as a capital city of Texas, what does uh, the city council are uh, doing to make our, be our city uh, growing but yeah. in a good way? So I, I, th I think people are attracted to Austin, Texas because it has a good nightlife, the bar scene like 6th Street, for example. Mm -hmm. It has uh, the good park system. It has lots of things to do, lots of things to see. I like to run, so I, I've been exposed. Oh, do you run? Yeah. Wow, that's good. I, I've, I've been exposed to uh, a, lot of, a lot of the good parks in Austin. Mm. It's, there are lots of good park systems yeah, around I in Austin. I hear also uh, Austin is a capital city of uh, music or live music. Live music capital of okay. the world or something. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Can you tell me a little bit about that? I hear that yeah. there's a South by South so I, 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 I used each year. So how does uh, stuff works? What can I do to participate? I, I used to think what that is that, that exactly? <laughs> I used to think it was bogus that, that Austin is called the capital or the music capital of the world. Mm -hmm. But we do have like South by Southwest, we have ACL. Mm -hmm. That's right. And then I like even even when I go out, like I'll go out drinking sometimes and I'll notice that the, there are lots of live bands playing at lots of locations. Really? Yeah, I, I noticed there are lots of live bands. Mm -hmm. And so I guess I guess it could maybe be the cap like music capital of the world because there are lots of bands playing all of the time. Wow, so that that's true. You yeah. mean like it's true you yeah. been seeing a lot of people are uh, playing music live, not like just listening on the radio. <laughs> yeah, not just listening on the radio. Okay, thank you so much for that. And uh, uh, then I tell people that uh, this is a Precision TV in a Precision Lifetime. Uh, today we have a, uh, you here, uh, welcome again. Uh, feel free. And uh, uh, one question, one more question would be like, what What do you think about, uh, or what do you know about Africa? What do I know about Africa? Mm -hmm. I know it is less developed than than the uh, versus the United States versus mm -hmm. Europe. Okay. But I think there's lots, lots of potential in Africa All right. for economic development. Uh, do you know any country like do know any, any country? specific country in uh, in Africa? Like I know that? I know some countries. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, like South Africa. I know where South Africa is. Okay. Zambia is in the southeast. Mm -hmm. Rwanda is in the kind of middle of the country. East Africa. Uh, Congo mm -hmm. is in the very middle in the, in the rainforest. Oh, that's right. Oh man, you know, you know a lot of stuff about Africa. <laughs> well, I am a geography major actually. <laughs> What? What is your meaning? So I've looked at maps a lot. Geography? Oh, geography. Like maps and stuff? Mm -hmm, I know. So I've, I've looked at maps a lot and I, mm -hmm. I can... Well, you know how when, to when you look at maps, you see the map. name and the, the, uh, the place. Okay, have you been in Africa before or planning maybe to visit <laughs> Africa? I would actually very much like to go to Africa sometime. Uh -huh. Which country do you prefer to go? Do you like to go? Uh, it's not expensive, man. For the plane? Yeah. For the plane? The plane uh, takes is expensive. I don't think so. Uh, if, if I actually chose to go to an African place, uh -huh. I would choose probably the rainforest. And that is only because I have I have a fascination for rainforests, okay. and I've never seen a rainforest. Oh, so where, which country exactly? Uh, probably the, somewhere on the uh, west coast in the mm -hmm. rainforest somewhere. Oh, that's right. That's right. So you, why did you choose that? Like <laughs> stuff. Uh, so uh, like, I when when you see that. a place, you uh, um, if I had the opportunity to to, to like choose between like a desert, uh -huh. for example, like uh, Libya or somewhere north, like. Egypt or something mm -hmm. versus the rainforest, uh -huh. and so the rainforest receives more rain, okay. and so more organ, more animals and people can exist there. Mm -hmm. That's right. And there's more to see. Wow! So <laughs> are you planning very soon to go there, or you just want to finish your degree and 
uh, having a job, uh, which can pay you. Well, I'm not planning to go there anytime soon, actually. I, I might never go to Africa. Mm -hmm. But if I can afford it sometime, I definitely you will. Man, you will. Try, try. As long as you need it, you can, you can go. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's so I also think within my lifetime, <clears throat> some major cities for the world will develop in Africa. That's right. Because if you think about it, there are no like super major cities in Africa at the moment. When I think about the major cities of the world, I think like New York City, Paris, mm -hmm. Beijing, That's right. Dubai, Dubai, and no, ma no super major city has developed in Africa yet. Um, but that will happen soon. That's right, but do, we do have also uh, those kind of city like uh, in South Africa. We have uh, two cities, Johannesburg. It's Johannesburg? On, yeah, it's on the list on also. South Africa. So, but uh, uh, this is something which you can also compare to New York. I, I know, but... Uh, Do you know what the population of Johannesburg is? Uh, I'm, <coughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't have no... Lots of there. skyscrapers? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, this is a precision lifetime. Uh, we are uh, we're here uh, with the... Uh, our best guest, we love you to have you next time. Also, it's a pleasure to be with us. Uh, one more thing, uh, just uh, what can you say, uh, what can you tell African people or American people which are following us right now? What can I tell the uh, people? Yeah. Um, I guess if I had one message for the people, uh -huh. <laughs> like if, if race was not an issue, I know it's not an issue. Yeah, you're free, man. Yeah, go ahead. I, th I think the one thing I would tell people is if you want to produce something, produce something with your life, mm -hmm. you, need to, you need to think. Lives better, they need to think for themselves. That's a good message. Thank you so much. <laughs> and welcome again uh, to our show, man. It's a pleasure to be with yes, you today. It's been a pleasure. Thank